What's going on guys, Heat here and I was invited at the fan meet of the CUK Z1 by Lenovo which is going to launch in India on 10th of May which is almost 1.5 years later from the official release. So yeah, I got to spend some time with it and these are my initial impressions on the CUK Z1. Starting with the design of this phone, it is a pleasure to look at. Although it might seem that this company has taken other devices for reference, the design of this phone is significant at its own game. The materials used here are glass, metal and plastic, solid construction and great in hand feel. Speaking about that 5.5 inch 1080p display, it was actually quite good. Though the colors seemed a bit saturated, it was a good panel with ample of brightness. On the software side of things, it is running on CyanogenOS 12.1 which is based on Android 5.1. And this to me was the biggest disappointment of this phone, although they've planned to push out the Marshmallow update soon. There's nothing much to speak about the software as we have already seen the same in many devices in the past. In the hood, it has got a quad-core Snapdragon 801 CPU. Yes, the Snapdragon 801, the one which was on the Galaxy S5, the HTC One M8 and the OnePlus One. 3 GB of RAM, Adreno 330 GPU, 64 GB of internal storage and a behemoth of 4100 mAh battery. Sadly, there is no SD card expansion so you are restricted with 64 GB. We have got a set of 13 and 8 MP cameras both having an f2.2 aperture and on the rear it has got optical image stabilization. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to test out the cameras. So hardware wise, yes, it is a good phone, but the question that I have and I'm sure many of you guys would be having is well, why is it being released in 2016? Now I'm not sure whom Lenovo is trying to target with this phone which has got internals which are 2 years old, but the answer to all these questions would be given by the price at which it is going to be released and it is going to be the make it or break it point of this phone. That's pretty much it for this video. This was Heath Nandu, signing off.